Just getting started with Grubhub and want to be prepared? I'm going to show you everything that you need to get started and be successful with Grubhub. Hi, I'm Shayna of The Wealth Vibe and I create videos to help you eliminate debt, grow your income, and build wealth. Like you, I started Grubhub because I wanted to earn extra money. Personally, I started because I had $108,000 in debt that I wanted to pay down. And I started Grubhub in April 2018 to be able to pay down that debt. And I wanted to make sure that I was maximizing the amount of money that I was making through Grubhub. But I just didn't really know what I needed to be successful at Grubhub. But by doing Grubhub over the years, I've learned the key things that you need to be successful. And I'm gonna share with you nine key things that you need to do Grubhub to be successful as soon as you hit the subscribe button. So the first thing that you'll need is a map app. And I suggest that you get the Google Map or Waze app to figure out the most efficient way to deliver your orders. And I suggest the Google Maps and Waze app because they allow you to add multiple stops on your routes. And this really comes into play when you have double and triple orders. And you wanna make sure that you are, you know, not driving all around the city to, you know, deliver orders based off of the recommendation that Grubhub has, especially when there's a more efficient route. I also suggest that you get an app to track your miles. And so that is really important to save you a lot of money when it comes to tax time. So I personally use the Mile IQ app to track my miles and I find it to be super easy to use because all you have to do is download the app and then keep your phone on you as you are delivering for Grubhub. And in the background, the app is gonna be tracking the miles that you're driving to deliver with Grubhub. And so if you're interested in using the Mile IQ app, I'll have a link down in the description box that will give you a discount to use the Mount IQ services. And it's really important to use a app, any app, to track your miles, but I found Mount IQ to be really great because actually this past tax year, I was able to save $4,500 on my tax liability, which turned out to be a lot of tax savings for myself. And it could turn out to be a lot of tax savings for you too, if you are using an app to track your miles so that you can accurately do your mileage deductions at tax time. I highly recommend that you get a car mount and that's for safety and legal reasons. So I live in Georgia and I drive in the Atlanta market. And in the past year, they actually designated the state as a hands-free state. And so that means that you can't have your phones in your hands while you're driving. So that means even just to accept an order, you can't have your, hand, your phone in your hands. So that means that you have to get a car mount for your phone so that way you can do everything hands-free. So that way you can accept orders, reject orders, call Grubhub, call customers and everything. And this is really important, one for safety reasons, so that way you don't crash into anyone and you know put anyone's life in danger, but also so that you can avoid getting tickets. And either way, you wanna avoid both of those things because they cut into the profits that you're gonna make. And so you wanna make sure that you're being safe and you're also following the laws in your local area. And just get a car mount, it makes your life a lot easier. So I've tried out a few different car mounts and I found some good ones, but I also found a lot of bad ones. And so I'll have some good ones that I found down in the description box so that you don't have to go through the whole trials and testing that I did and just find a really good one for yourself. So if you're interested, I'll have a link down in the description box so that you can check out some really good car mounts for you to use while you're doing Grubhub. This next tip is something that you probably really never thought about, but it comes in really handy while you're doing Grubhub. And so that is to get a drink or cup holder. So you might be thinking, well, I have drink and cup holders in my car, but it really comes into handy when you're in the restaurant and picking up orders that have multiple drinks. Cause actually many of these restaurants don't have those, you know, cardboard cup holders. And so you're gonna have to like, handle all those drinks while also carrying bags of food. And it makes it a lot easier if you have your own drink or cup holder. And it also comes into play when you get into your car because sometimes you might not have cup holders that fit large, you know, extra large 
sizes of drinks and your cup holders might just be a little bit too small and some of the cup holders i know for my car especially in the center console some of the cup holders in there aren't really sturdy and while you're driving the drinks can tip over so by having your own cup holder you can ensure that you have you know your hands free so that you can actually you know carry all the drinks that might be in order and also prevent spills in your car so i'm going to also have some drink and cup holders that i recommend in the description box so that you can purchase them and trust me it will be a lifesaver for you especially when you have to carry like five or six cold drinks in your hands while also juggling a lot of food bags as well i also highly recommend that you get the podcast app by apple or you download the audible app to listen to audiobooks and while you're doing Grubhub, you're gonna have a lot of downtime. Not because you don't have orders to do, but because you're just driving around the city to go to different restaurants, waiting at restaurants to pick up orders, or going to deliver orders to the actual customer. And in that time, you could have been listening to music <laughs> or just listening to radio. And personally, I like to spend that time, you know, stimulating my mind, learning new things that will help me beyond Grubhub to make extra money. And so I find it to be really useful because I do spend a lot of time at work and then doing Grubhub. And so I don't have a lot of downtime to leisurely read or listen to podcasts. So I make sure that I'm using my time wisely while I'm doing Grubhub and making sure that I am spending that time listening to podcasts and listening to books that are going to propel me in life that's going to actually benefit me in the long run. So I suggest that you do the same and listen to podcasts and listen to books while you're on the go. One of the ways that I found to maximize the profits that I make is to actually maximize my availability. And let's be honest, there's gonna be like bad weather days. There are gonna be days where it's raining or snowing and you might feel like you don't actually wanna work on those days because it might not be safe or because you just don't really want to be out in the snow or the rain. But sometimes it's actually still safe to work out, you know, on those days where it's not really great weather because it's just sprinkling or because it's snowing lightly. And you want to make sure that you're prepared for those changes in the weather. So I find it to be really important to make sure that you have an umbrella or a rain jacket or even snow boots or something like that. So that way you don't have to miss out on those days when you could be working because let's be honest, the people who don't want to go out in that weather, they're going to actually be placing orders on Grubhub. So you're going to be missing out on a lot of money if you choose to stay in just like them. So make sure that you have an umbrella, a raincoat, snow boots, and all those things so that you're prepared for all the changes in weather and be able to maximize on the amount of money that potentially will come in on those bad weather days. Grubhub provides you with one insulated bag and I found that it's just really not sufficient when you have these large orders and these irregular shaped boxes and all those types of things. They just will not fit into that small Grubhub insulated bag that they give you. And I find that that one bag is not helpful when you have double and triple orders because what are you going to do with those other orders because it really can only fit one order comfortably. So I found it really helpful to find my own extra large insulated bag and the bag that I have is able to fit like extra large pizza boxes and double and triple orders and it has really come in handy. So I suggest that you also get an additional insulated bag in addition to the Grubhub one because the Grubhub one is not going to do the job. So this one might just be obvious, but I think it's worth mentioning that you have more than one charging cable for your phone. Because sometimes you might have one charging cable and then that one day when you have 5% battery left on your phone and you're waiting for a new order to come in and you try to plug up your phone and the charging cable decides not to work that day. So if you have multiple of them in your car, you can ensure that you don't miss out on orders because it can cost you money. And you wanna make sure that you aren't losing out on money just because you only have one charging cable that decided not to work one day. So for my birthday, my boyfriend decided to give me 
the Apple AirPods and I have found them to be the best thing for me while doing Grubhub. And before I was using, you know, the regular cable attached headphones and I was always having issues when I was trying to juggle multiple bags of orders and getting in and out of the car because I might be in the middle of a podcast and then the cable gets unhooked from my phone and I end up getting tangled up and I realized by having the AirPods things have been so seamless when it comes to doing my orders. I don't have to worry about like having my phone with me sometimes even because I can still get phone calls and still even hear the cowbell when a new order is coming in and I don't have to worry about the cable getting in the way. So if you can, I would suggest that you get some Apple AirPods and I know that they even have some off-brand ones available too. If you can get some wireless headphones, that will be a lifesaver to you. You might not notice it until you switch over, but it's gonna be super helpful to you if you have some wireless headphones to use while you are doing Grubhub. I have one more tip that you will find super helpful as you are getting started with Grubhub because I know that you are in it to make lots of extra money. So you'll want to check out the video that I created on how to maximize the profits that you make with Grubhub. And remember, I'll have everything that I talked about linked down in the description box below. Remember to like and share this video and I hope that you hit the subscribe and notification bell so you can be notified when I release more videos. Thanks for watching.